Wait here. I'll be right here. Chill, dude, I'm coming. I'm on my way. On my way. Oh, hey. signs of trouble. Retribution for the atrocities committed by you and your ancestors. So be it. 
Are you mad? Didn't you claim that touching the two swords would spell the end of everything? Or was that just another one of your lies? Rest assured, and that was no lie. But if I'm to die, I could care less if I take the whole damned universe with me. You truly are insane. <laughs> Curse you, hero. Why won't you yield? I can't. Not while the blood of Usagi and all the other Miyamoto sense and before him runs through my veins. What the? Usagi! End of the line, Mishima. Can't you feel it? The combined might of my ancestors now courses through the Daikatana. Your day of reckoning is finally at hand! Don't be so sure. I'll fight you till my last breath. that were created when he altered history. Then what are we still doing here? We don't belong in this time period any more than that other Daikatana did. Shouldn't we have disappeared too? Good question. What if it's not an instantaneous effect? I mean, who knows how many alternate realities were created? The different timelines could just be collapsing slowly. If that's the case, we'll have to hurry if we want to get back to our own time before we're caught in the backlash and wiped out of existence. And how do you propose we do that? The only Daikatana we got left seems to be running on empty. Looks to me like we're stranded again. Maybe not. I've got an idea. like it might be the place. What exactly do you have in mind, hero? Hey, wait a minute. You're not thinking of doing what I think you're thinking, are you? The reactor's core is our only viable power source. Tapping into it may be our only choice. That's crazy. We don't even know if the Diakatana can harness a jolt of such magnitude. Got any other suggestions? I didn't think so. Inserting the blade into the fusion cylinder should do the trick. Hope you don't mind if I step back about a mile or two. Go right ahead. Won't make a damn bit of difference if there's a meltdown. You really think this is going to work? Have a little faith, Superfly. Faith? Faith is for fools who won't listen to reason. Not much of a spiritual man, are you? 
Considering the life I've led and the horrors I've seen, can you blame me? Hey! What happened to the lights? Something's wrong. Something's definitely wrong. What the... Where did it go? Where did what go? The Daikatana! It's gone! What? How is that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, hero. Two against one isn't quite fair. My god! What have you done? Only what needed to be done. You see, Mishima was right about me. You should have listened to him while you still had the chance. What? What the hell are you talking about? You've seen what the Dai Katana can do. Tasted its power firsthand. How can you resist it? It's absolutely incredible. So intoxicating. Like wielding living lightning. Now I know what a god feels like. Listen to me, Mikiko. Don't let yourself be consumed by the lust for power. A little late for that, isn't it? No. It's never too late. Look around you. You cold-bloodedly murder the man who helped save your life. You choose the path of greed and avarice over more noble pursuits. Is this how you wish to honor the Ebihara legacy? Get off your self-righteous pedestal. You know nothing about the Ebihara legacy. I only know what your father told me. That the Ebihara clan was a group of noble warriors dedicated to overthrowing Osaka Mishima's brutal regime. Poor hero. Too blind to see the truth, even now. You were always far too trusting, just like Usagi. Don't you get it? My father fed you a pack of lies so that you'd do his bidding. The Ebihara clan was anything but noble. More like a bunch of cutthroats and bandits who banded together against Mishima out of sheer self-preservation. After the Battle of Fujiyama, Inshiro betrayed Usagi and refused to give the Dai Katana back to him. They struggled, and Usagi was mortally wounded when Inshiro jabbed the sword blade first into his abdomen. Grabbing the ancient weapon by the hilt, Usagi managed to wrestle it from Inshiro's grasp. He then threw himself into the volcano, taking the Dai Katana with him to his grave, robbing my family of its rightful claim to the sword. Rightful claim? Inshiro tried to steal it from him. Wrong! My family acquired it fair and square by right of combat. Usagi was unworthy of wielding the Dai Katana. He was a weak and simple-minded fool who lacked the vision to fulfill the sword's ultimate potential. That's rubbish and you know it. You're just trying to justify your ancestors' actions, as well as your own. So tell me, now that you've got the Daikatana, what do you intend to do with it? I'm going back in time to save my father's life. Then? Who knows? Humanity is in desperate need of some guidance. Maybe I'll provide them with a more cultured and intelligent sensibility. Do that, and you will be no better than Mishima. <laughs> Regardless of what happens, I can promise you one thing, that you won't be around to see it! Stand down, Mikiko. It doesn't have to end this way. The only thing ending here today, hero, is your life! Maybe it won't have to. It's all right, Mikiko. 
At least our expedition to Fujiyama wasn't a complete failure. I'm sure the artifacts we uncovered will prove to be very beneficial to the Institute. Don't look so discouraged. I'm not, Father. I only wish we could have at least found the sole heir of the Miyamoto clan while we were there. He probably knows more about the sword than any other living being. I'm afraid we'll never find the Daikatana without his help. Considering all the legends involving the sword, maybe that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. The consequences of messing with such a powerful artifact may be worse than any of us realize. Besides, for all we know, the existence of the Daikatana could be nothing more than a myth. Security Chief Johnson speaks wisely. We should stop wasting our time and resources chasing phantoms when there are more pressing concerns to attend to. What can be more pressing than restoring our family's honor? Our ancestors already atoned for their past failings when they came up with a cure for the mutagenic Marburg pox filovirus. Perhaps it would be best for us to stop dwelling on the past and start looking to the future. <laughs>